the hate army troll. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I am here, and uh, we're going to get started in just a couple minutes here uh, with a chill session of just hanging out. That's what we're doing tonight. I will explain what's going on, obviously, when we begin. Why we couldn't do the co-op tonight, which I know some people were very much looking forward to. It's all good. It's still happening. It's just a, a delay, which I know is frustrating, but that's life. Um, But I'll give the full story. No worries. <clears throat> tonight, what do we got on the agenda? Well, uh, earlier today, if you were not on the Dark or excuse me, the Dark Souls, if you were not on the Elden Ring stream, you're not aware of what happened. Uh, I had a bunch of technical difficulties. First of all, my mic settings reset, which pissed me off. I was like, why is the volume off? Everyone's like, we can't hear you. I was like, what? Why can't you hear me? Apparently, something reset my mic uh, audio boost. Like, I had it four decibels, and it just turned off out of nowhere, so I had to fix that. Then I'm playing Elden, Elden Ring, and all of a sudden, all right, my controller basically says, controller battery is low. I'm like, how could it be controller battery low when it's plugged in? Then I immediately died to the boss. That I, This happened because it distracted me. So I died to a boss run. I was like, well, that's frustrating. <clears throat> Come to find out, my USB cable was malfunctioning. And it was really weird because I just bought it in December. I just bought like a bunch of these. So apparently these, these USB cables I had bought were, were just trash. Because that's two malfunctions I've had since December. One of them... Uh, we were using to charge something else in the house and it died and now this and I'm like dude this thing sucks so I knew that I was going to have to buy a new USB cable but I was like oh man if I can't uh, charge this controller I wonder if the other controller has any charge I went over to it the entire left thumbstick melted yeah the thing is disgusting like these controllers are so not durable anymore I haven't used that other controller in over a year. It's just literally sat by itself on a glass shelf in my entertainment center. And I pick it up, and the whole left thumbstick is like sticky goo. I'm like, what the hell? So I was like, dude, so I have no backup controller. And then I've been having these issues with, with thumbstick drift on the right thumbstick. I'm playing Elden Ring, and my character keeps looking at the ceiling. Like, stop looking at the ceiling. This is not the game for that, you know? <laughs> this is not going to help. Uh, so basically on the fly I had to order a replacement controller and some USB charging cables so those are coming within moments like those are supposed to be here in the next 15 minutes so I think tonight we'll do a live unboxing of the controller and by the way the audience voted for the color of the controller what they wanted so the color was determined by the viewers and uh, we'll do a live unboxing see what it's like see if it's any different than the other one probably not they're probably all the same right uh, anyway, so, yeah, so that's going to be tonight. Basically, we're going to chill. We're going to hang out. We're going to talk a bit. Just have a nice, uh, you know, interactive hangout session and, you know, unbox the, uh, the controller and stuff like that, okay? That's all we're going to do tonight. Just a relaxing session. And by the way, I have done these once a month for the past two months, and they went really well. Every single time, it's because so for some reason... We have to change the schedule on the fly. It usually happens once a month. And so the two other nights, we had one. I remember one night, we had actually finished a game early that I thought was going to take all day. We finished it on like one stream, so we ended up... Oh, you know what it was? Star Wars, remember? Uh, last month was the Battlefront collection, so we just did a, a chill stream at night. And then the month before that, it was the same situation where I had beaten a game much earlier than I thought. So we ended up doing a chill stream. And they do well. People show up, they hang out, they engage, they support... People seem to like just hanging out with me, you know, every once in a while. So it works. You know, we'll just have a nice chill one tonight. Okay? Um, so there you have it. That's what we're doing tonight. Nothing crazy. Just relaxing. Sitting back. Having some conversation. Having some fun. And unboxing my controller and, I guess, USB cables when they show up. <laughs> Woohoo. Right? Slayer, I literally am kind of trying to explain. Uh, I will give the full story. In, uh, in just a second, when I actually get on camera and we begin here, I'll explain, uh, you know, why we're not doing the co-op tonight. It's all good. We're doing it next week. But uh, obviously, people are going to want to know, so I'll, I'll give you the honest truth.
So there you go. I will give you the full Monty. No, I will not. That's disgusting. Did you see that movie? It's disgusting. The guy's stripping. It's vile. Vulgar. <laughs> I will not give you the full Monty. I refuse to give you the full Monty. I'm going to be checking. I'm going to be uh, tr uh, checking my, my packages here because, uh, yeah. It's going to be delivered. This controller is going to be delivered, you know, very soon. It was supposed to already be delivered, and then they claimed, oh, the driver has to do a few more deliveries first. I was like, uh, why did it say a specific amount of deliveries and then change its mind? Obviously, that's fucking wrong then, right? <laughs> it's all good. No, it's not because my controller broke. That's not why we're doing this. No. I know you don't see me, Jay. I don't have the camera on yet. I'm camera shy. Didn't you know that? I'm very camera shy. I don't like being on camera. I, uh... It makes me blush. <laughs> it makes me blush. <clears throat> you know, you want to see my lovely face? Well, deposit $20 into the slot below and you can see my face. <laughs> That's right. I'm oh, I'm inspired by the best streamers on the internet. We must have tons of contributions before I will t put, go on camera tonight. Absolutely. I'm just kidding, by the way. I'm going to come on camera momentarily. I'm just kind of messing around with everybody tonight. <clears throat> How many controllers have I gone through? Uh, on PS5, uh, the launch controller I thought was having issues. So I started, I bought another one. And the other one, well, I say I bought the other one. Someone donated it, actually, which is really nice. It was, like, within two weeks of the, the console launching, someone donated another controller. Um, and I started using that one. Come to find out, it wasn't the controllers that was the problem. It was Call of Duty. The game was too sensitive, and they basically you just keep accidentally doing melee attacks when it had the stupid, um, uh, what do you call it, haptic feedback would go off. So the game would shake like you're firing a gun, and it would cause you to do melee attacks by accident because it's a piece of shit. I was like, wow, what a dumb game. They didn't test this at all. So anyway, I ended up with two controllers since the launch of PS5, and I think I've alternated maybe once, because I think I remember one of them was getting some stick drift. Um, so this now, the controller arriving tonight will be number three. Um, on Xbox, I believe I'm also on number three, because I had the original one that came with the Series X. That one started to break, so I got the red one. That one lasted a year, and that broke, so now I'm on a blue one. So technically, we're as of today, we'll be tied three and three for controllers uh, for each console. <laughs> None of these controllers are durable at all. They suck, man. They fall apart. They're crap. How do I break so many controllers? I mean, I don't know. You see what I do, what I do when I play. I don't smash my controller. I don't throw my controller. I, I treat them nicely. Shall we begin? You guys want to start? I was waiting for the controller to arrive, but it's not here yet. It says, like I said, they said it was going to be next, and then they changed it. It says, oh, now your driver has more deliveries to do before they'll deliver. It looks like they're a few blocks away, so it'll be here at some point tonight on the late stream. So, by the way, the lighting's going to be off, and the reason being, I'll show you what I mean. Do you have the lighting's off? How it looks too bright? It's because the sun is still out. And I have the blinds open to get more air in here to try to cool down the room. So because the blinds are open, it looks too bright. As the night progresses, the sun's going to go down more. It's going to look more normal in here. But to start, it's going to be a little bit overly bright. Okay? Fair enough. Shall we get started? Okay. Here we go. Hello, everyone. What's going on? It seems like once a month, things just go a little bit awry or plans change. And so, here we are, April 13th, 2024. It's about a month since the last time this happened. And tonight, we are doing an impromptu chill stream with a live audience. We're just going to hang out with each other, have a good time, talk, have some conversation. And I actually have a new PS5 controller being delivered tonight. Uh, needed it right away because one controller has a, a thumbstick drift, and the other one has a melted thumbstick. <laughs> I was just telling the audience about this. Um, so I needed a new one. So that's arriving, and when it arrives, I can do a live unboxing. It's actually a, a, a special color 
because the audience earlier today on my Elden Ring stream voted for this special color. Uh, so we can do that together. It's just going to be relaxing and talking and having a good time tonight. Nothing crazy, nothing super serious, no real, ge no gameplay or anything. It's just a hangout session. We, like I said, we've been doing this about once a month. We did one in February, one in March, and now one in April. And they usually do well. Usually people want to talk and hang out and people engage and they end up supporting and it ends up a good time. So let's see how tonight goes. First of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. Originally tonight was supposed to be co-op with my wife, Kat. We were going to start Beyond Two Souls. All right, what happened? Well, it seems like this playthrough, we came up with the idea for this playthrough about a month ago. All right. And it just seems like it's like destined to have problems. Seriously, like, we just can't get this thing going. First, we wanted to do it, but I was stuck in the midst of playing so many lengthy RPGs and trying to push to finish them. It didn't make sense to start it then because I needed to finish those RPGs to get the variety back on the channel. So I did that, right? Like, I, I pushed hard. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to, and we got them all done. Then originally, we were going to do it like two weeks ago on a Tuesday night, and... Basically, it didn't go, you know, my, my wife wasn't up to it that week. She changed her mind and was basically like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling it. Too much else going on. Let's, let's delay it. So he said, all right, we'll do it the next week. We were gung-ho 100% locked in schedule to do it this last Tuesday, which would have been what? Um, the 9th, right? April 9th. We were 100% ready to go. We had, we have all the stuff we need. We have two of these headsets now. So each of us can have one. When we do it, we bought all these wire. We bought a splitter wire. We bought extra headphone cables for it and everything. You know, we got a chair for We're ready. We're raring to go. I, bu I bought fun. The game was on sale last month. I got it for like 12 bucks on PSN. It's installed. It's like, we are 100% good to go. What ends up happening is, uh, my wife's work basically changed her schedule on her. Unbeknownst to her, they didn't even tell her. She just happened to be checking the schedule online. And it's like, the whole schedule's different. She's like, wait, what? I've had the same schedule set for a while. Why would they do this and not even talk to me about it, right? So it threw our whole week into it for a loop. Remember, we were going to take Wednesday off this week, past week because April 10th is our wedding anniversary. So we were going to have that as our day off. We were going to have a longer streaming week this week. You know, we wanted to be together for our wedding anniversary. But because they changed her work schedule, that all got to get changed. So our day off ended up being the day after our wedding anniversary. And because of her work schedule changed, we couldn't do the co-op on Tuesday. Now, originally we were thinking about maybe we'll cram it in on Wednesday night, maybe. And we were talking about that and saying, let's do it. But then we realized, you know, to cram it in on the Wednesday night when she'd been working nonstop all week, plus that we were going to go out the entire Thursday. We would rather have a relaxing night the night before our entire busy day out. So we decided against it. And we're like, nah, let's not do the co-op. I'll do a regular night stream. And, you know, we'll have a day out. And then we'll have it. So we talked about it. We were like, when should we do it then? And we realized, you know, it might make more sense to do it on a weekend. Because typically she doesn't have to work weekends. Not every time. Because like I said, this work, her schedule could change. But typically she's not working over weekends. So we're like, maybe like Saturday nights would be perfect. Because number one, she won't be overly exhausted from working. Number two... It's a night, you know, usually, typically on, on, on weekends, more people can attend, right? People aren't in school, aren't in work, they're out, and they could come by a stream a little bit more. Like, well, a lot of people want to see our stew co-op. It'd be pretty cool. We do the co-op on the weekend. We'll probably get more viewers. So we totally agreed to this. Like, yeah, this is great. This will work out, right? So then here's what happened is we had our day out on Thursday, and it was a great day. Don't get me wrong. We just did a lot of fun stuff together. Uh, did some shopping, had a great dinner. We talked about it on the podcast yesterday, how good of a day it was, right? Um, but basically, because of that, we were behind on stuff. Like, my wife is behind on things she would normally do, like like loads of laundry and doing certain housework and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> you know, this morning, we get up and we're having breakfast and we're talking about it, and we're kind of like, yeah, you know, we're still on par. We're going to do the co-op tonight. And I could already tell a little bit that maybe Kat was a little, like, frazzled about it. And you know, I didn't know why or anything, but you know we're still set to do it. So I did my first stream, and I, as I finished my first stream, I went downstairs into the kitchen, and here's Cat hurriedly trying to finish dinner, and that's surprising because usually she's done with dinner. A lot of times she finishes dinner early, and she's rushing to try to finish dinner as I'm coming down from my stream, and I know immediately something's wrong, and you can tell she's really stressed out. 
And I said, oh, what's going on? She goes, so I'm trying to do one thing and another thing goes wrong. I try to do the next thing and the next thing goes wrong. I say, so basically it's one of those Murphy's Law situations, right? As, as I'm in the kitchen with my wife and she's trying to finish dinner, a noise goes up. It's our washing machine. She's trying to wash clothes. And this washing machine has errored out saying uneven load three times. So she's been trying to do a load of clothes for over an hour and can't even finish it because the goddamn washer keeps saying uneven load. So I said, I'll go look at the washer. You focus on dinner. Let's work together. Let's figure all this out. I don't even know what's wrong. what was wrong with the load of clothes. Honestly, I went in and it was just a bunch of towels and a few pieces of clothing. It's like, I don't know why it's saying uneven load. I have no idea. You know, I'm separating it. Who are you supposed to do? You separate it out so they're not lumped together. You toss them back in fresh, even though they're soaked. You know, you got to keep doing that so that they won't keep doing that, right? So... Sit, that's wrong. He says it means the load is too heavy. That's not what it means. What it means is somehow what's in your washer has become loaded to like one side or clumped together to the point where the washer can't effectively move the clothes anymore. They're stuck in place. So then it stops to prevent the washer from moving across your floor or causing damage to the washer. So anyway, um, basically we, you know, I, I cleared it up, right? I go to start the washer again. I stupidly hit the power button. Instead of the resume button, I hit the power button. So it resets the whole goddamn thing. Now I don't need to wash the clothes the whole full setting again. So I go to, I'm like, well, I'll wait. So I got to call the cat. Cat, I screwed everything up because I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. I screwed the whole load up. What do I do? So now she has to leave the kitchen where she's trying to cook to come over to the laundry room to show me how to use the washer because I'm an idiot, right? So it's like, why did I even help? I just made, I just complicated things even worse, right? <laughs> So finally, we, we get it going again on like a short cycle. It's like 15 minute short cycles, like short spin cycle or something like that, right? Go back to the kitchen. So basically trying to finish and I could tell Kat is completely stressed out. And I said, so what's going on? And she's like, basically the whole week has been a shit show, right? Ever since the work schedule changed earlier this week and then she had to work more days and different times, it threw her schedule off. So here she is, she's behind on all this stuff. And she's like, I need to get clothes done today. I need to do I need to do this, this. She's like, tell me all the stuff she has to do. And she's like, I would have had it all done. But that work throwing me off. And then we had our day off for our anniversary. If we had stayed home that day, I would have had more time to catch up. But we didn't. We went out. And not that she regrets that. She loved having the day out. But basically, she just can't play. She's been playing catch up all week. It hasn't yet, right? And I'm like, well, what do you want to do? You know, and, and basically, here's what I, here's my actual honest take on this okay why on earth are we going to be doing co-op tonight if she's going to be stressed out right the whole idea of us coming in here and doing anything together on a stream is that it's supposed to be a fun atmosphere right we're going to have fun together we're going to play a game we're going to talk and do Q&A with the audience or whatever it may be right if she's already stressed out and now she's going to come in here and try to play a game, you know that's just going to translate into her demeanor and her enjoyment of the stream in general. And you also know, let's be honest, you also know that the trolls are going to be here. I already see some of them in chat saying dumb shit. I'm kind of ignoring them now to at least give my explanation. But that's the thing. Like, What's the point of doing a late night stream with my wife where we're supposed to be having fun together if she's not going to have fun because she's stressed out? It doesn't make sense, right? So I said to her, I said, if you're stressed out, and all you want to do tonight is play catch up or do some relaxing or whatever you want to do, that's perfectly fine. Just tell me now. And that way we're not being forced into a situation where we're doing a stream that's not going to work because, you know, we're going to be stressed out and upset or whatever. And she's like, yeah, I definitely, I don't want to do it. She's like, I want to do it. I want to do it, but let's do it on a week when I'm not so stressed out because everything, she's so backed up and everything. Okay. So basically... We agreed that we're going to do it next weekend. We're going to do it next Saturday night. She wants to do it badly. She wants to play this game. And in fact, of course, she was very apologetic. She's like, I'm, I'm nervous now. Is everyone going to be upset? I said, you don't have to worry. It's like, listen, number one, all right? This is our life together. It's not dictated by what happens on one of my work streams, right? Just because we told them we're going to do co-op, it doesn't mean that's the end of, of the world. And now we're all hugely have to be committed to doing this. It's ridiculous, right? It's supposed to be something nice in addition to something that we already do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the end of the world. Not everyone's going to freak out, you know? 
it's not that's the thing. I think she she genuinely feels sad and worried that people aren't going to want to see the co-op now because it keeps getting rescheduled. So what I basically have to say is it's this simple. I, when she's ready to come on to do it, we'll do it. And she says, let's do it next Saturday. She wanted to do it tonight, but it's just things just kept getting backed up and backed up and backed up and backed up to the point where it's like, to even come on here tonight, she's going to feel so stressed. That, what's the point, right? That's exactly right, Orange. Orange says, it's okay, tell Cash she just doesn't owe us anything. Correct, right? Like, absolutely correct. She doesn't owe anyone anything. She doesn't have to be on a stream. There's no commitment. We, if she really doesn't want to do the co-op. We never have to do it. But she wants to. Like, she genuinely wants to do it. It's just things keep happening that make it be screwed up and delayed. We were 100% ready for Tuesday. Then her work schedule changed. Then we were going to do it Wednesday. And then we're like, oh, shit, after her work in the several days, then she was tired. And that, you know, now we're going to do it tonight. But now this is happening. It's like, this is the thing after a thing after a thing, right? So then next week, uh, you know, again, tentative. Let's say Saturday night for next week. If we do it, we want to do it on a Saturday night at this point, okay? Uh, I think it makes more sense to do it on a Saturday night because, again, more people attending or whatever. And it wouldn't, like, coincide with her work. Usually she doesn't work on, on the weekends. So I think it's going to be fine. And the other, here's the other thing. I make my own schedule. This is not like, oh, no, the boss is going to be upset at us. What boss? I'm the boss, right? So I do whatever I want. I'm like, well, you know what? Like I said, once a month. We've been having these late night chill streams where we just hang out and talk and have a good time. And people want more of them. They've outright told me the desire that over time they want more of these chill session streams rather than it being so focused on always gameplay, gameplay, gameplay <clears throat> or something set. They like the fact that every once in a while something impromptu or different happens, that the schedule will change. It feels a little bit looser, right? I'm down for that, okay? I'm totally 100% down for that. And I hope you guys understand. If you do understand, thank you. If you don't understand, well, I can't help you. You know, that's life. You're going to find out as you get older that these kind of things happen all the time. And you better learn to be adaptable. Because if you're not, and you're one of these people who's just so stubborn, you're going to learn real fast that not everything goes according to plan the older you get. And then you got to find ways to call an audible. As they say in, like, professional football, you know, American football, you got to find a way to adjust on the fly and make stuff work. You know what I mean? Um, you can't just sit there and break down and cry or fall apart when things don't go according to your plans. So in this case, listen, we're going to do the co-op. We, you know, unless some crazy extenuating circumstance happens, we're going to do the co-op eventually. You know, it's just not happening right now. And, you know, next week we'll give it another go on Saturday night. We'll see what happens. And uh, hopefully everything does. See, the thing is next week, now she knows her schedule ahead of time. It didn't change. So now she knows the schedule ahead of time. We are not going to have a day out that's going to be more stressful. We're going to have a more relaxing day at home for our day off next week. So she'll have time to do things that, like, these these errands around the house and things and not going to get backed up on stuff. So I think we'll be all right for next week. We'll see, okay? But will it be absolutely 100% every week moving forward? I don't know. It might, it might not be. Again, it depends on life. It's not a big deal. I think it's special when we finally get to do it, right? It'll feel like something special. And I think the reason why basically people react this way, like seeing people in the chat being like, oh my God, what is it this time? You know, being being stupid about it. It's because otherwise I'm a fairly consistent individual, right? I make a schedule. I adhere to it. I, you know, my work schedule is set. Boom, boom, boom. You know, like clockwork, I'm going to be here every day. Two streams, if possible. Sometimes it's only one. It's mostly two streams every, almost every day. You know what I'm saying? You definitely know what's going on. So, you know, that's the deal. And sometimes things go awry, but it's a rarity, right? It just so happens that getting this co-op going has been the thing that's gone awry in the last couple of weeks that keeps, uh, you know, <laughs> basically being annoying that we can't make it happen, right? Right? And I agree with you there that, you know, when, you, when you're, you're down to consistency, and you're used to consistency, and you don't have that consistency, it can bother you. But understand something. This co-op is different. This is not, you know, Kat is not a paid employee of mine. She's not me, right? We're, we're doing our best to try to make this happen for you guys to do something a little special. It will happen eventually. And uh, I want to say thank you to those who are understanding and appreciative and being very nice. Uh, 
with you or with us, I should say, uh, over this, you know, it is what it is. And uh, now we're just going to have a chill night tonight where we kind of interact and talk and, and go from there. All right. And I'm going to keep checking because, like I said, uh, my controller is supposed to be delivered by Amazon over the course of this very stream. Uh, yeah, look at this. Oh, now it's, it's arriving tonight by 10 p.m. Then why tell me that it's coming? <laughs> All right. It actually shows the driver is still driving around downtown of my town delivering other packages even though I was told it was going to be here tonight. So we'll we'll see if it ever shows up or not. If it shows up, I'll do the live unboxing, okay? We'll see what happens here tonight. Typically, he'll see more than anything.